Hi, welcome to my video on finding the starting point from an equation. That's the starting point for each uh, sinusoidal function in sine and cos. So let's look at it in terms of sine first. Y equals A times sine B bracket theta minus H plus K. And the starting point in this equation for sine is the H and the K. And the H is the horizontal translation, and the K is the vertical translation. And we note that the H could be in degrees or radians. Let's do an example. In this one, we have the starting point for sine is always the H comma K. So the H is opposite of negative 90, which is 90 degrees, and the K is the 2. So the starting point is 90 degrees, comma, 2. And another way to look at that, or to do it, is pick up the, what you call the point that we have here. Pick up the point. We know that the point is 90 degrees. So if you opposite of the negative 90 is the phase shift, which is the H, and the phase shift is 90 degrees. So if you take 90 and plug it back into this equation, 90 minus 90 gives you 0. 3 times 0 gives you 0. The sine of 0 is 0. 4 times 0 is 0, so you get a 2. So that's another way to do it without saying H and K. Get the uh, horizontal uh, translation, which is the H value, the opposite of what's in this bracket and sum it back in and it'll give you what the y is. So that's the starting point. Okay, let's do some more examples. And again, this is notice for sine. So the starting point for sine is h comma k. So the h is opposite, is 180 degrees, makes it plus, and the k is, oh, h is, let me do it right. Sorry for that. The h Oh, I did it again. The H is equal to 180 degrees, and the K is equal to 4. So it's 180 degrees, comma, 4. And just think about it. Take the 180 and sub in right here, which is the opposite. That gives you a 0. The sine of 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0, and you get the 4. So it's another way. And right here, again, is the H comma k, so the h is opposite of pi over 4 is negative pi over 4, the k is negative 5, so the starting point is a negative pi over 4 as a radiant and a negative 5. And again, if you take the opposite of this, put a negative pi over 4 here, you get a 0. 4 times 0 is 0, the sine of 0 radiants is a 0, negative 3 times 0 is 0, and I get the negative 5, whatever way you want to go about it. So the h comma k for sine. And so the h, notice there's no plus in the bracket, so the h is 0, and the k is 1. So it's a 0 comma 1. And check. Take the 0, and this, again, could be degrees or radians in this case, or not, don't make a difference because this is 0. So you put a zero here, you get three times zero is zero. The sine of zero is zero. One quarter times zero is zero. Zero plus one gives you one. So that's the starting point. So that's in terms of sine. So the sine is h comma k. Or you can plug in the uh, horizontal the phase shift and work out the equation. What about if we have the equation y equals a cos b theta minus h plus k? Notice this is cos. So the starting point for cos is h comma a plus k. So the h, again, can be in degrees or radians. So the h is the horizontal translation, which is the opposite of what right here is that horizontal translation. The a is the vertical stretch. The k is the vertical translation. So for cos, is not hk, it's h, and it's a plus k. Let's 
check, let's check it out. Let's do an example. So the h in this equation, opposite of negative 60 is 60. And the k in this equation is negative 1. So the point is h and a plus k. So the h is 60 degrees. Oop, I didn't get the a. The a is right at the beginning. a is right here. So the a is 4. So it's 4 plus negative 1. So the point is 60 degrees starting off, and the y value is a 3. And again, take, if you take the horizontal uh, shift, is positive 60, so 60 to the right. So we put 60 in. 60 minus 60 gives you 0. A half of 0 is 0. The cos of 0 is 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. Minus 1 gives you 3. So taking the opposite of this and working this equation out will give you the y value without having to memorize this. Okay, find the starting point for each. Again, we got to do, because it's cos, we got to do the a, which is 3. We got to do the h, which is ne opposite of negative, ne plus 90 is negative 90. And the k is 2. So, the, it's h and a plus k. So the h is a negative 90 degrees, the a is 3, add on 2. So the starting point for this is negative 90, comma, 5. And again, a, a better way I think about it, instead of memorizing this, is what do I put in here to give me a 0? Negative 90 degrees. Good. Put a negative 90 in, I get a 0. 6 times 0 is 0. The cos of 0 degrees is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. Yes, I find that the better way without memorizing this. And again, just to go keep going, A is, oops, better be careful. A is negative 2. H is positive pi over 6. And K is negative 7. And let's go over here. You've got an H and an A plus K. H is pi over 6 as a radiant. A is negative 2. And head on negative 7. So we got a pi over 6 and a negative 9. So let's check it. This, what do we put in here to give me a 0 is pi over 6. When I put pi over 6 right here, I get a 0. 2 thirds times 0 is 0. The cos of 0 is 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2, negative 7, negative 9. Perfect. And the last one, we have A to be 3 quarters. We have H, notice there's no plus or minus here, on the degree, so it's a 0. And K is negative a half. So we have an H, comma, A plus K. H is 0. A is 3 quarters plus a negative a half. And common denominator is 4, so a half is 2 over 4, negative. So we get a 0, and 3 quarters, negative 2 quarters is 1 quarter. And again, there's no 0 here. There's no, like, there's a minus here, and there's a plus here, and there's a minus here. But there's nothing inside of this. So that means h is 0. So put a 0 in. 5 times 0 is 0. The cos of 0 is 1. 3 quarters times 1 is 3 quarters. 3 quarters subtract a half will give you 1 quarter, which is the starting point. And we're going to use the starting point to, to graph a sine or a cos and without using the mapping rule. So hopefully that practice is understood. And if you like it, click my like button. Click my subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math We Explain. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video was of some help to you. Bye-bye.